Hey everybody, old school game snob here. Been playing uh, Gods Unchained for uh, the last few months here. I've been really enjoying it a lot. And for those of you who follow the game, I've been experimenting around with a little nature deck based on uh, uh, an, an another deck which has been doing pretty well that I didn't actually create. But I've been uh, putting in a few modifications here and there and kind of testing it out. Just for the fun, I love building decks. It's kind of, I think, where I have the most fun is just experimenting with different combos. Anyway, this deck <clears throat> has been working pretty well. Uh, the win rate here is kind of uh, is subjective just because I, I keep switching out like one card here, one card there, and every time you do that, it resets the uh, resets the stats. So, um, but actually, I've been going pretty well with this, having quite a good number of uh, win, quite a good win win streak. Um, so here's what it includes on the marsh on the nature side. We've got Marsh Walker. Uh, we've got Sirene's Blessing. I just added that. I feel like it could be a good early game um, buff to help keep uh, creatures alive. Maybe I'm not sure. I'm kind of testing it. Black Jag, kind of standard stuff, and of course uh, this nice Twin Strike Blitz staff, which also summons a heal. Uh, good for crowd control, uh, or rather, rather board control, I guess you would you would say, and uh, and of course some healing too, because you get those walking plants out of it, which is kind of nice. Uh, Canopy Barrage, it just always seems to come in handy when you need it. I only have one in the deck. I've been thinking about adding a second one. Uh, I did actually have a um, um, Hunt Maiden, Hunt Warden, Hunt Maiden, Hunt Warden. Um, uh, but I swapped that out for two Steadfast Scouts. I don't know if this is going to work very well, but it is a you know one step better than um, Hunt Warden if you know you can get it off at the right time. Um, Lightning Strike, of course, is a good uh, big creature clear. Overgrown Rhino is just a nice stat card at four mana. Blade Flies always seem to come in handy. Um, I've been thinking about actually adding, what is it, the staff of, um, I forget, whichever one does plus one, plus one, but um, uh, the blade fly actually comes in pretty well, pretty handy with uh, the firewine, or, or sorry, the blade flies rather, with the, with the firewine. Um, if you have one or two other creatures on the, on the board, and actually you're going to see that happen in this next game, which I thought was kind of funny. Uh, it, it started and ended so quickly, it was one of my quickest games. Um, and it was exactly because of Firewine and uh, and Blade Flies. Swelling Boon, I love this card. I, I don't see it played that much, but I love this card. If it, if you can get it uh, off at the right time, and you start building up the stats of a single creature, oh my god, your your creature just grows so big. Um, I've had I've had pigs <laughs> that are all around 2020. 20. By the time this thing, you know, gets gets, you know, they've been they're game enders basically. They're they're the one pig army. Game, game enders. Jagstaff, um, Blitz, because it's got Blitz, and, uh, and you know, you can do a little bit of board control. Um, that's kind of nice, and of course, never bad to have another Black Jag on the board. The Hunt, just a nice board clear if you, uh, when you need it, or taking down a bigger creature. The Oliphant Mount is also great, because there's not much in the way of heavies in this deck. Nothing, nothing too, uh, nothing too high mana. Um, <clears throat> But what is nice about it is that you have a bunch of smaller creatures on the board, and you drop this guy, and he's got nice stats already, 7-7. Seven, seven. Um, and then, you know, you buff up your smaller creatures, and suddenly you've got a force to be reckoned with, even against some stronger cards. Wild Hog, just 2-3 stats, 1 mana, you can't go wrong with that. Skeleton Heavy, same, same. Vanguard Axe Woman, just a very good standard card. And what, what, what this deck really does well early game is crowd control as board control rather and also uh, getting tra favorable trades because typically you have bigger creatures than your opponent you have uh, something like leech life you have uh, blitz or uh, blitzy staffs that you can make uh, attacks with on uh, the enemy god or whatever and you'll end up getting quite a bit of favor quite quickly and so pious giant because this because it's, this deck doesn't have a lot of heavy cards Highest Giant becomes your heavy card, and uh, right around six mana, if you've you know got the favor, and you usually do, to play this guy, and then if you've got a nine nine, uh, big friendly giant with a ward on the board, and that suddenly becomes quite hard to clear. I've also noticed this deck can occasionally get into the nine mana, um, and kind of hold its own, but it can't. It has a hard time dealing with those heavier heavier decks. Uh, which is why I'm thinking I have to, I've kind of just dropped Echophon into this deck actually, and I'm thinking Echophon's a game ender. <laughs> so if you get Echo, Echophon in the right point near the end game, uh, that could be possibly what turns it around in in an otherwise sort of struggle street deck with these lower mana creatures. 
Um, so yeah, echo fun. Anyway, here's a, here's a game. I'll show you guys how it went. And so early on, I have been favoring leech life, although flourish, uh, sorry, um, forage is also, also nice. Uh, looking at the flop here, there's actually a lot of good flop options in this uh, deck. Um, here I've got, you know, a number of twos and ones, and I'm thinking the three could maybe be swapped out and getting, you know, grab something a little bit, a little bit better, hopefully a pig. Sure enough, there's a pig. <laughs> that's a pretty nice starting hand. One, two, two, four. You know, that's, that's you can't go too wrong with that. So, starting out with pig. Pig's an easy first Awaken. mana play. Um, skeleton heavy, very easy second mana play. Lucky for me, he didn't have a card to play on, on turn one, which definitely puts this nature deck uh, ahead. Light, they love to light Slevy. They, they really do. <laughs> I think that's one of the favorite, favorite moves. There's Firewine that comes up. I go for the god, but, you know, either way, Take out the accolade; it's it's still good. And so here I'm here I'm already looking at um, at uh, at the firewine coming up potentially pretty soon because now I've got a board with uh, four creatures on it. He drops down a uh, just a, just a portable fortress as a shield, knocks out one of the um, blade flies. <clears throat> but now I happen to have uh, two uh, axi girls in my hand, <laughs> so. That's pretty good. Um, I can actually do a lot with that. Uh, it's a pretty nice draw, pretty nice flop. Exegirl takes out that, and now I've got uh, five creatures on the board. And uh, unless he starts clearing at this point, he's, he's going to be in big trouble because Firewind's coming up next. <laughs> it looks like he actually didn't even have much to play. So this is just an example of how quickly this hand, uh, quickly this deck can can. Uh, can run when it when it runs, you know, well, and so Firewine boosts up everything four 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 across the board. <laughs> this is kind of fun. I'm, I'm sure it was wasn't too much fun for him. <laughs> but it was pretty fun on my side. Um, yeah, that's game. That's it. He's like, nah, I've had it. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> uh,